welcome to Computex Fall Show, The Outsiders. Uh, thank you for coming. We would like to extend a thanks to Principal Barrett and Vice Principal Ms. Munoz and to the parents of the students who are running this thing. Um, we would like to thank you. Um, there are freshmen in the back. Um, intermission will be after Act 1. It will be 15 minutes and you will have time to eat, go to the bathroom, all that jazz. <laughs> we will also have to ask you guys to make sure your phones are turned all the way off, not just on silent, as they interfere with our sound systems. Uh, and don't worry about having recordings. We have the show being recorded. Uh, this production has been student made, even the, our wonderful set pieces, which you will see in a second, were made by students. <clears throat> this also would not have been possible without, our, without Mrs. Hibbler's wonderful, wonderful theatric arts programs, including our acting, directing, stagecraft, and forensics or speech and debate classes. Thank you. Hope you enjoy your show. That way, I mean, my second oldest brother, Soda, never cracks a book at all. My oldest brother, Derry, works too hard to be interested in the story, or drawing a picture. So, I'm not like them. And nobody in our gang digs movies and books the way I do, so I loan it. And I'm a greaser. Greasers can't walk alone too much, or they get jumped. Socious. Not exactly sure how you spell that, but it's the abbreviation for the socials. The jet set. Rich kids. We're poor than the socials. We're breaking the walls too. And I like the social. Jump greasers and wreck houses, and throw parties just for kicks. <coughs> Greasers are almost like hoods. And we steal things, and we drive old souped up cars, and have gang fights. And I don't mean I do. Terry would kill me if he knew I got into trouble with the police. Since Mom and Dad Killed in a car crash. The three of us get to stay together. Only as long as we behave. So, Soda and I stay out of trouble as much as we can. Now, I'm not saying that the socials or the greases are better. It's just the way things are. Hey, Grease, how can you buy yourself, Grease? Stay away right from me! You couldn't think of it. It's not safe to be out here all alone. We're gonna do you a favor, Grease. We're gonna cut off that long, greasy hair. Leave me alone! Need a haircut, Grease? No. We're gonna cut it real close. How'd you like the haircut to begin? Just below. 
below the chin. Are you crazy? So that Jerry! Shut up! Oh. Uh, uh, I see someone! Jerry! Funny boy! Cool it, Bob! He's asking! Company coming! I have to give you another appointment, Grace. Catch you later. Pony boy, are you okay? Did they cut you? No, I'll talk. Nothing. They're cruising our territory. So scuff. You sure you're okay? Not hurt? I'm a little spooked. That's all. But compared to what they did to you, it's nothing. Nothing at all. They have to stop jumping us. They have to stop. What's in your hand? It is anything. Never mind, pony boy. Johnny. I can't take another beating. I just can't take it, pony boy. I get enough for my father. Pony boy, are you all right? Look, look at me. Tell I'm, me something. I'm a kid, Derek. Who's shaking me? I'm a kid. Come on, Derek. Okay, I'm sorry. You're never sorry. Not about anything. The kid's okay. You don't think it's funny. Did you catch him? No, they got away this time. I hit their car with a couple of rocks. Don't think they like that. I didn't know you out of jail, Dallas. Good behavior. Got out early. Good morning, boy. What were you doing walking by your lonesome? I was walking home from the movies. I didn't think that. You don't ever think. Not at home or anywhere that matters. You must think in school with all those good grades, and you always got your nose in a book, but you ever use your brain for common sense? No. No. No sorry, bum. And if you had to go by yourself, you should have came to the blade. No matter what I did, you wouldn't like it. Leave my kid brother alone, you hear? It ain't his fault he liked to go to the movies, and it ain't his fault the social like to us. And if he would have been carrying a blade, it would have been a good excuse for them to cut him to ribbons. When I want my kid brother to tell me what to do with my other kid brother, I'll ask you. Kid brother. Next time, get one of us to go with you, pony boy. Any of us will. Speaking of movies, I'm walking over to the, uh, the nightly double tomorrow night. Anyone want to come? Hunt some action? Can't. I'm working. You're always working. I've got a choice. Soda Pop? Can't. They say it is game. Hey, what's that? Sandy, glad to hear you say that. Sandy, can you stay? No. Long. I got to go. I've got a choice. Tubi, Johnny Kid, you and Pony want to come? Uh, me and Johnny will come. Okay, dearie? It ain't a school night. Since it ain't a school night. I'll walk over and find y'all. Probably I'll find y'all. Too bad. If you're walking towards my place, if you're in that direction, could I part way? Happens I'll be going right by your place, Johnny. Right by your door. Too bad. Thanks. Remember how Johnny looked when he got beat up? Why do the socials hate us so much? That's just how it works. I'm reading this book called Great Expectations for English. And that kid Pip reminds me of us, the way he felt. Mark's lousy because he wasn't a gentleman or anything. The way that girl kept looking down on me. <coughs> That's only a book. It happened to me one time in biology. I had to dissect a worm. The razor wouldn't cut, so I used my switchblade. I forgot what I was doing or else I wouldn't have done it. Anyway, the minute I flicked it out, this girl right beside me just kind of gasped and said, they are right. You are a hood. So she pretty. She looked real good and yellow. Mm -hmm. I don't tell Derek. Say it and think again. He probably would, but when he hollers at you, he don't mean nothing by it. Like hell. I better get home. My letter's half off. I wouldn't miss it here, Mom. Wouldn't miss one thing. Think you up at home? Sorry. I'll be thinking of She's different. From what? From all the other girls that'll look at greasers. Tough, loud girls with too much eye makeup. Who swear too much? I like Sandy. She doesn't have any. She's got school, a job, nothing but trouble at home. Soda? <coughs> How come you dropped out of school? 
I can already stand when you left school. Because I'm dumb. I, the only things I was passing was auto mechanics and gym. You're not dumb. <coughs> yeah. I, shut up and I'll tell you something. Okay. <coughs> I think I'm an embarrassment. I After she gets out of school and I get a better job and everything. I may wait till you get out of school. So I can up there with the bills. Tough enough! Only wait till I get out. So you can keep Derry off my back. Don't be like that. I told you he doesn't even have what he says. He's just got more words than someone half his age out. <coughs> sure. Maybe we deserve most of what we get. The Dallas deserves all of it. And more if you want the truth. And too bit, uh, he doesn't want or need out the things he swaps on counties, but, uh, but it ain't like that out there. He doesn't deserve to be working like an old man when he's only 20. I mean, even with the athletic scholarship, he didn't have enough, 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 enough money for college. Terry doesn't go anywhere, do anything except work. But, but he's got hopes for you. You did? Why does he bug me all the time? See the baby. I mean, he loves me a lot. Sabin, you're wrong. Derry don't love anyone or anything, and he thinks I'm just another mouth to feed. You better get on with your life. You love Sandy? I am. What's it like? It's real nice. What's that book you're reading for English? Great Expectations. Great Expectations. <coughs> for the movie. So we walked around talking all the greases we knew. Leaning in the car windows or hopping in the back seats. Getting in on who was running away. Who was in jail. Who was going with who. And who saw what, when, and why. By then, it was dark enough to sneak in on the back fence and drive it. Oh, oh, oh. Right out! Johnny, keep him on. Why don't you? Why don't you? Come on. You know, you need to do things legal. Move it, pony boy. Sure, Dallas. You really think that. You Jack, Look at you're disgusting. I don't want to sit with them either. They need a lesson. We came to see him with you. He needed the muscle beef. Must be something by Jeannie Salad. Really? Marshall. Is this real hair or a wig? Stop that. I guess it's real. Want to check if I'm real? Dallas. Watch the picture. Kenny's on Muscle Beach. You'd like to see some muscle? Take your feet off my seat. Shut up. Who's gonna make me? That's the picture that Johnny took on the Jason time. I know you too. I've seen you around rodeos. Shame you can't ride without have you can talk it. You're too bare right now. You better leave us alone or I'll call the cops. Oh, my. My. You've got me scared to death. You ought to see my record sometime, baby. Guess what I've been in for. Please leave us alone. Why can't you just be nice and leave us Oh. I'm never nice. You wanna go? I wouldn't cook if I was starving in the desert. Get lost, bud. Are you gonna start this now? No. You don't look like the type. What's your name? I wish you hadn't asked. It's <coughs> Pony Boy Chris. That's the original company name. My dad was the original person. I've got a brother named Soda Pop. He was that so on his birth certificate. My name's Sherry, but my friends tell me Cherry because my hair. I know. You're a cheerleader. You go to the same school. You don't look old enough for high school. I'm not. They'll put up here in grade school. What's a nice smart kid like you hanging around with like trash like that boy? I'm a grease. Same as Dallas. He's my buddy. I'm sorry, funny boy. Your brother, Soda Pop, does he work at a gasoline station? A TX? Yeah. And your brother's born at all. I might have guessed you the brothers. You look alike. How come you're blushing? It's not every day I hear good looking so say something like that. How can we not see him in school? He's a dropout. Johnny King. Pony boy. <coughs> For you. For the redhead who likes muscles. Might cool you off. This might cool you off, Greaser. After you wash your mouth and learn how to talk next, he says, 
I might go up to you. Firing, huh? That's the way I like it. <laughs> Leave her alone, Dallas. Huh? What'd you say? Johnny? You heard me. Leave her alone. Johnny! Like to repeat that? Leave her alone. Thanks, you had me scared. You sure didn't show it. Nobody talks to Dallas like you did. From what I saw you do. One time, the guy told Dallas to move over at a candy counter. Dallas belted him so hard and knocked the tooth loose. Got some guts, Johnny. Will you cool it, pony boy? Y'all sit up here with us. We're that guts. Okay, might as well. How old are y'all? Fourteen. Sixteen. That's funny, I thought you were both. Sixteen. How come y'all are scared of us like you are Dallas? First, you didn't show any the way Dallas was talking, and then you made him leave us alone. And when we asked you to sit here with us, you didn't act like it was an invitation to make out for him. Oh. I've heard about Dallas Winston, and he looks mean. Not you two. I'm sure, we're young and innocent. No, not innocent. You seem too much to be innocent. It's not dirty. Dallas is okay. He's tough, but he's a cool guy. He'd leave me alone if he knew you. Look, glad he doesn't know us. It's funny, in a way I kind of admire him. Weren't you yelling at someone a while ago? I did. They brought along some booze. I don't want to sit in a driveway and watch someone get drunk. You really made me mad. I don't care. Okay, Grace, you had it. Glory, shoot me. You want to scare us to death, we... Kid, Johnny, come on. I hate you, bitch. Sorry, kid, I forgot. Who's this, your great aunt? Scared grandmother, expect your move. A shark? How could you two be kids picked up by a couple of crazy cubs like Tony and John? We really picked them up. We were cool and stupid. Dallas was bothering up. When he left, they wanted us to sit with them to protect them against creatures like you. Where's old Dallas? Tim Shepard's looking for him. Dallas is out on some action. He'll probably fight the fight. He slashed the tires on Tim's car just for kicks, which is no joke when you gotta work to pay them off. So they have a fight. You don't believe in playing rough or anything. Tim's okay. A fair fight ain't rough. Legs are rough. So are chains, and heaters, and pool sticks. But skin fighting ain't rough. Dallas got caught, he pays up no sweat. Yeah, boy, real simple. He gets killed in the skin, there he's no sweat. You dig okay, baby. Honey boy, will you come with me and get some popcorn? Oh, uh, sure. Y'all want some? Y'all watch your movie. Come on. I don't think I have your number. What number? Street address, telephone. <laughs> the girl said watch the movie. So watch the movie. Maybe I have a piece of paper somewhere. <laughs> Carrie didn't really want popcorn. She wanted to talk. Your friend, the one with the leather jacket, he's okay? He ain't dangerous like Dallas, if that's what you mean. He's all right. Johnny's been hurt bad sometimes. It has me hurt scared. And worse than that, it was associates. I don't want to watch bikinis on Muscle Beach. I want to know about things. Soda and I were kicking rocks down the street. And we noticed Johnny's jacket on the ground. And we saw a hump on the other side of the lot. And there was a moan. Soda got there first and turned him over. I nearly puked. We're used to seeing Johnny banged up. His father clobbers him a lot. But it ain't nothing like this. Soda was holding him, giving him a little shake, saying, It's okay, Johnny Cake. They're gone now. It's okay. Tubi was suddenly there. And for once! He had nothing smart to say. Dallas got there too, swearing under his breath. And he turned away, and he was sick. Dallas. Finally, Johnny figured it was sort of holding him. Kept shaking and crying. Couldn't stop himself. Said there was a whole bunch. A blue Mustang fool. Soda kept holding him, saying, Don't tell. Over and over. They're gone! They're gone, Johnny Cake! A blue Mustang. Johnny tried to run, but they caught him. One of them had rings on his hand. What got Johnny so bad? All socials aren't like that. You have to believe me, Pony Boy. Not all of us are like that. Sure. It's like saying all freezers are like Dallas Winston. I bet he's jumping.
Lots of times. You think the socialists have it made, don't you? Well, you do. It may come as a surprise, but we have troubles you've never heard of. You want to know something? Things are tough all over. And why are we so different? You're more emotional. We're sophisticated. Cool to the point of not feeling anything. I'll catch myself talking and realize I don't mean half of what I'm saying. I don't really think the party on the river bottom is super cool. But I'll rave about it just to be saying something. I've never told that to anyone before. You're the first person. Why is that? Because I'm a greaser. And because I'm younger, so you don't have to keep your guard up. Keep your office smart. Probably I'll throw it. We'd better buy some popcorn and get back. The pictures, I think. You read a lot, don't you, funny boy? Yeah. Why? And I bet you watch sunsets, too. I used to watch them. Where it got so busy? You eat all the popcorn! It was delicious. Well, how do we get home? Maybe I should call my phone. I'll walk for you. It's 20 miles. Well, it's still early, and if we get started right away. John, huh? Uh -huh. there's a car at my place. It takes us ten minutes to walk here. It runs real smooth. I can drive you. I'm trying to think of the cool thing to do. Too big car, okay? It's a wreck. But <coughs> too big, too big will get you home. Thanks, too big. Let's start walking. Pardon me, adventure. If you'd rather call your parents. Nah. Maybe I should run ahead and clean out the back. We'll walk together. Sure there's enough gas. <laughs> Carrie, look what's coming. Man, that's a tough car. Mustangs are tough. What are we gonna do? Just stand here. There isn't much else we can do. Who is it? The FBI? Randy and Bob. And a few more of the social elite. Check your shirt. Set in the back seat. Boyfriends? Maybe they didn't see us. I call them. Who's acting? I'm a natural normal. Wish it was the other way around. You mean? What do you mean? How much it blows? It's what? Blue. What is? Tell me, Johnny. Why do they call you Johnny Cage? His real name is Johnny Cage. Whoever. But you have to get home. You gotta move it, Johnny. Johnny, what does it mean when you say tough? It's a tough part. It means. I was asking Johnny. It means okay. Really rough. Sharp. Like you and Marsha, two hmm? tough girls. Your brothers at home be a home with things. No. Pony boy's lucky. Stop too. I'm lucky to have soda pop. And Mary. Are you crazy? You don't talk about your oldest brother. What's to talk about? He's big and he's handsome. He used to play football. That's it. Tell me more about him. He's a good guy. Are you drink completely? He's as hard as a rock and as bad as human. He's got eyes exactly like frozen ice. I can't stand it. Hold on! You and Derry, it's true! That he would stick me in a home somewhere. And he'd do it too. If only sort of better. That ain't right, Pony Boy. You got it all wrong. Derry really cares about you. You just shut up, Johnny Cave. Derry don't want me at home. We all know you ain't wanted at home either. How could you talk to Johnny like that? How could you do it? He didn't mean it, Johnny. It's the truth. I ain't wanted. I don't care. Shut up talking like that. We couldn't get along without you. Maybe I should call for a ride. It just don't seem fair. What's it fair? Like, Johnny's father being a mean drunk and his mother a selfish slob. Tubit's mother working in the bar to support him and his kid sister after his father ran out on him. And Dallas, he just hates the world. He even soda pop, a dropout so we can get a job and keep me in school. Even Darren, getting old before his time, trying to run a family, and hang on to two jobs and never having any fun. While the socials have so much spare time and money, they gang up on us and jump each other just for kicks. They have parties. And we have bought parties because they don't know what else to do. I tried to explain. Sure. Things are rough all over. All over our part of town. The way things are, like it or love it, they swallowed us. Who must they? Terry, Marsha, listen to us. You're making a big deal out of nothing. Look, I told you I'm never going out with you. Maybe. You're not hearing very well. I said never. Terry, 
Marcia. And even if you're mad at us, that's no reason to be walking with these. These what? Vermin. Who are you calling vermin? This is the little grease that needs a haircut. And this is the social with the blue mustache. And all those rings on his nose. Maybe you'd like to pull some luck. Bless you. Pull off, guys. You think I'm gonna let some greasers get away with walking our girls? Our girls? <coughs> You're out of your territory. You better watch it. Next time, pick on your own time. Sir, listen, greasers. We got one more in the back seat. Then pity the back seat. If you're looking for a five, should we run for it? Too late. Hey, I asked you. You mean, if I'm looking for a good jump, you outnumber us. So you'll give it to us. Hey! You got that, right? Hey, kid, want to repeat foreman? Touch that kid, I'll call the cops. Hold it a minute. You'll what? Back off, guys. You wouldn't dare. I don't want to fight, so right home with you. But until we're ready, you go to the car and you wait. Wait? You wait till we come over. Hey, we ain't scared of them. You can't stand fights. You can't stand them. Yes or no? We'll wait one minute. You think I'm a little little greaser? Get away from fucking my girl! Bob, I still be alone in a minute. See ya. You better go with my friend, Bob. I know. It's too dangerous. If I see you in the hall and don't say hi, it's not personal. It's just the way things are. We could even let our parents see It's okay. Just don't forget. Some of us like to watch sunsets too. Let's not push the moment of warning. It's fine. I hope we never see that Dalton again. Because he's one of us? Because I might fall in love with him. How's that going to be trouble? Marcia's phone number. I must have been out of my mind to ask for it. Probably for him anyway. I think we'll go play a little snooker, huh? But if well, I don't know. Those two girls were tough. When they see us in school, they can't even say hi. If that's the worst of your problems, save us from a fight, Belinda. I'm really glad we didn't have to fight. You'd have done okay. You don't understand. I couldn't take it again. I'd rather kill myself or something. You can't kill yourself. Don't talk like that. You've got to do something. Maybe I'll sleep here in the park tonight. There's gotta be something. Something. Not greasers or socials. Just people. Maybe out in the country. When we had the whole family, we'd always drive out in the country. Let me tell you something crazy. I think I like it better than the old man too. I like, at least then he knows who I am. I walk into that house, nobody says anything. I walk out of the house, Stay away all night and nobody notices. At least you got soda. I ain't got nobody. Shoot, you got the whole game. How much time people are supposed to hear about you? It ain't the same. Johnny went to sleep right away. Since I was asleep too. And dreaming. Brought mom and dad back to life. Mom's big things. Dad would drive the old out, the old pickup out early to feed cattle. My mom was golden and beautiful. When I woke up, I thought, Glory, what time is it? Johnny was still asleep. Just the thought about facing Derek's sleep made me shake. I ran home. When it got close, I could see. Sleep. Pony! Where the heck have you been? Do you know what time it is? Well, it's two in the morning. Another hour, and we would have had the police out after you. Where were you? Where in the outmighty universe were you? Uh, I fell asleep in the lot. What? Hey, pony boy. Where you been? I didn't mean to. I was talking to Johnny and then we both It talked. never occurred to you that your brothers might be at home worrying their heads off and afraid to call the police because it would get you sent into a boys' home so quickly and make your head spin. And you're out asleep in the lot. What is wrong with you? Look, I said I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't think. I forgot. 
That's all I ever hear out of you. Can't you even think? Terry, hey, Terry. Hey, you keep your smart mouth shut. I am sick and tired of hearing you stick up for him. Don't yell at him. Please, I'm so sorry, Pony. Pony, please. to give us a phone call. If there's a phone handy, and if he's got money, and if there's nobody around, and okay, okay. No news? I figured out a phone. Oh, Sadie, we can get married. 
We're going to Sunday school, so why not? In a couple weeks, I'll be 17. Oh, Sandy, I'll, I'll be... I won't. I have to get away. I can't talk about it anymore. I can't see it anymore. What? That's what I can really tell you. This is hard enough to Don't make it worse. Don't do that. Okay. Okay for now. But all right, keep in touch, give it, a, give it a little time and work things out. Over at the lot. Goodbye. All right. Right back. Uh, some socials at the two bit. Dallas is there. But they sure got great time. What about Sandy? Yeah, she has to go visit her grandmother. Are you okay? Why not? Second time I've been jumped this morning. The socials are a little tense this morning. Tense? I heard you told the Buzz that Pony and Johnny were headed for Texas. That might be one possibility. Could you think of another possibility? You'd have to ask them. Man, look at that car. It's stingray. Look at the redhead. The dead guy's girlfriend. Let's run that chick out of here. Don't touch her, Dallas. What's this? You come around this name is Johnny King. How is Johnny King? We wouldn't know about that. Would you happen to know about Pony Boy? We the police heard. think he's headed southwest somewhere. It's necessary to jerk me around. At least we all know about Bob. Yeah. Too bad about that. Yeah, too bad. He's dead. The reason I came over here, the whole mess, maybe it's my fault. So, and so what about it? Maybe I can help. You? Come on, Dallas. Why don't we go to the dingo? I can buy you a Coke and we can talk about this. That Pony and Johnny need someone who can testify and you want to make out of the dingo. Sorry, I have to get out of here. No, please, wait. For what? It took a lot of nerve for you to come here this morning. Yes, it did. Any message for the juvenile delinquents? Yes, tell them I said hi. <laughs> Dallas! Hey, I only want to talk to her. Clear up about this testifying of things. Hey, don't worry. You talk nice, Dallas. Do you hear me? I always talk nice. <laughs> Tell them I said hi. I heard they went to Texas. Your kid brother's so smart. Why can't he locate a telephone? <laughs> I'd been in a church before, but this falling down old place gave a creepy feeling. What do you call it? Premonition? Don't be paid any attention. Load it up. This is five bologna. Two loaves of bread. Or is it box of matches? Candy bars. Candy bars. What else? More candy bars and... Whoa! Gone with the wind! How'd you know I always wanted to read that book? I remember you saying something about it once. Now maybe you could read it out loud and help kill time or something. Thanks. We're in big trouble. I'm still tired. And a little spooky. Things been happening so fast. Man, I'm tired. Last night. What was it last night? Last night we were walking Cherry and Marsha over to two bits. Last night we were laying in the lot, looking up at the stars. Last night I killed that ball. He couldn't have been more than 17 or 18. 
And they killed him. Killed Tiger too. The next few days were the longest. We passed time playing poker and reading Gone with the Wind. Johnny was especially stuck on Seth the Gentleman. I thought they were cool little guys. Running in a shore deck just because they were gallant. They remind me of Dallas. Dallas seeing in more manners than I do. And you saw how he treated those girls the night they double. Yeah, but one night I saw Dallas getting kicked up by the bus. He kept real cool. They were getting hit for something too big. Dallas knew it. He took a sentence, got batting an eye in his eye. Now that's gone. He's your hero now? Go back to sleep. <laughs> Dawn the next morning, all the lower valley was covered with mist. Clouds changed from gray to pink, and the mist was touched with gold. Then there was a silent moment when everything just held its breath. Then the sun rose. Golly, it's sure pretty. Wouldn't it be cool if we were able to paint that sky? Too bad it can't stay like that. Nothing gold can stay. Huh? A poem I read once. I was remembering it. Nature's first green is gold. Her hardest hue to hold. Her early leaves of flower when we sow an hour, and it goes on. Well, you go on. The leaf subsides to leaf. So Eden sank to grief. So dawn goes down to day. Nothing gold can stay. Where'd you learn that? Robert Frost wrote it. He meant more to it than I'm getting them. Well, how can you remember it? Because I keep trying to figure it out, I never actually quite got what he meant by it. Well, I never noticed the colors in clouds, but you started reminding me about them. Seems like they were never there before. I couldn't tell the others about stuff like that. I couldn't even remember the poem around them. But they don't dig. Just you. And soda pop sometimes. Shoot, maybe even cherry valance. Well, I guess we're different. Well, shoot, maybe they are. I was so tired of baloney. I got sick just looking at it. We eating all the candy bars and I was dying for Pepsi. Well, that time I'd read up Sherman Siege of Atlanta. I owed Johnny 150 bucks for poker games. And I was beginning to think I'd always live in the church. Or during the Civil War. Or both. Pony, hear it? Who'd you think? Lars, look at the church mice. Hey, Dallas. Little Johnny here. The Bony boy. I thought I'd be so glad to see Dallas Winston. What's happening? I have soda pop. I the buzz after the I just went over here. Hold it. All days. I can't answer everything at once. Do you want something to eat first? If I skip breakfast, and I'm about to starve. You're starving? I mean, if you'd like some bologna. No, thanks. The buzz won't be looking for you around here. I got Bucks Lever Park down the road. Ain't you be needing anything? What gives you that idea? You both look terrible. The cops think you're in Texas. Why Texas? They know me. I get hauled in for everything that happens on our turf. I, I let Jock go ahead in the other direction. They be laughing. Like I told you, Gallery. Look, do y'all want something to eat or not? Believe it. Be good to get in the car again. Dallas always did like to drive fast. Whether you got where he was going or not. Came down the Redder Road so fast, Johnny and I got a little green. We stopped at the Dairy Queen. First thing I got was a Pepsi. And we started gorging. I'm gonna start next on banana splits. I guess it's time. Tell us what's going on. The socials and the greasers are having all that warfare. All over the city. That kid you killed, he had plenty of friends all over town. <coughs> we can't walk alone too much. It's social against Greece. I started carrying heaters. Dallas! You kill people with heaters. You kill them with switchblades too. Don't you kid? Please. 
Dallas, if you walk around with a gun, don't worry, my heater ain't loaded. How do you even be picked up for murder? But it sure does help with bluff. All our warfare, all over the city, just one more day. What happened at all? I said this was tomorrow night, the vacant lot. <coughs> tomorrow night? You guys will miss it. We got a word of the president of the social club and our court council. So here's the deal. No weapons. If we run, things go as normal. If they run, they stay out of our territory. We're good. Out. I don't care how many socialists come. They're going to run. Daddy, suppose they bring chains. Hey. Didn't I tell you? We got ourselves a spy. That good looking brother tried to pick up the night you killed the Soch. Uh, the redhead. Cherry, what's her name? Cherry? The Soch? And next time I want a brown, I'll pick up my own time. You were getting the same advice from the Soch's. Cherry, the Soch, she's helping us. She ain't Cherry, the Soch, she's. Anyway, she said if Johnny comes to court, she'll sacrifice the Soch for a fight. You and Cody fought back in self defense. How about that? That would really help. And then I suggested we go for a ride with Buck Stevens. She politely said no thank you and told me where to go. Man, what I do wrong? <laughs> Maybe you should have tried a little conversation before making a move. Conversation? This place is out of it. Why did you do for kicks in the country? Play checkers. Going back? We're turning ourselves in. What? We're going back. We're turning ourselves in. I got no chance of being let off easy. Ain't got no record. Both Pony Boy and Cherry can testify for self-defense. Johnny, once they, get, once they get their hands on you, I can't stand that church the rest of my life. Once they get a hold of you, you realize that Grace is getting worse than anyone. We won't tell that you helped us, and we'll give you a substance of money. Are you sure you want to go back, Pony Boy? It ain't fair for him to have to stay in that church with Stone and Dairy worry about him all the time. Dairy don't care. Yes, he does. Well, I don't suppose. My parents are worried about me or anything. So the boys are worried. Two of us going to Texas looking for you too. But my parents, did they ask about me? No, John can't put, shoot, put your name out. My old man don't care if I'm in jail, dead in the car wreck, or in the gutter. And that, that don't bother me none. Let's go back to the church. I left a book there. You turned yourself in five days ago and just saved a lot of trouble. I was scared. I still am. Look, John K. I ain't mad at you. I just don't want you to get hurt. You don't wanna you don't know what a few months of jail do you. What happened to you? You get me. When we got to the top of the hill, I couldn't believe what was happening. The church, it's on fire! Let's go! What for? People in there! Not our problem!
Yeah, I think it's got south. Dallas hit me. It's because it's back It was? I didn't feel it. That's because your friend put it out before you got burned. Are you taking us to the police station? The police station? Why would we take you to the police station? You're in the hospital. Johnny and Dallas all right? Which one's which? Johnny has black hair. <laughs> Dallas is the mean looking one. Are the little kids okay? They're okay. Thank you. A lot of the parents want to see. Dr. Moore, support your emergency. Dr. Moore, support your emergency. The doctor checked me over. And except for a few light burns and big bruise across my back, I was all right. Hey, Dallas! Pony boy, if you pull a stupid thing like that again, I'll be the star of you. You hear me? Don't you ever. Dallas, listen. It's about Johnny. 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 brother home. He'll be fine. There's no paperwork. You can go home. Uh, we asked about Johnny and Dallas, but no one would tell us anything. Are you members of the family? I'll only talk to the family. Doctor, Johnny and Dallas don't have any family except us. I think we're about as much family as they have. All right. Dallas thinks it will be okay after two or three days. One arm is pretty bad, but he'll get back to the use of it. Dallas is always okay. Tell us about Johnny. We already told to his parents. Tell it to us straight. Johnny Hayes is critical. His back is broken, he's suffering from severe shock, and he has third degree burns. What are you doing for him? Everything we can to ease the pain, but because his back is broken, he can't feel the burns below the waist. Even if he lives... If? You said it. If? If he lives, he'll be a cripple. Is he conscious? In and out. He keeps on calling for Dallas and Tony Boy. So can we see him? Not now. What you need to do now is go home and get to rest. If he lives? Dr. Moore, take line four, please. If you want to get straight, you got it straight. That's right, doctor. Dr. Moore, take line four, please. You can phone him later and check him with the nurse station on this floor. Thanks. We better go home. We can't do much here. <laughs> a pain was going in my throat. The doctors gave it to a straight, all right? I try to think. Maybe I'm dreaming. Maybe I'll wake up and everything will be like it used to be. Only it was getting harder and harder to lie to myself. Next morning, Tuba came over. 
Same as usual, only earlier. You can't believe a thing they put in the paper. Who believed you? Freaky looking bugs to be heroes. How do you like being a hero, big shot? How do I like being what? Like a big shot. Do not play for certain heroes. I like that term, big. I guess we turned all of a sudden. Since you and Johnny risked your life, one of the parents even said the kids would have burned to death and it had to spend for the two of you. Tell us about the fight. Have to appear in juvenile court for running away. Johnny, her hands water. If he recovers. Why do they keep saying if? They go on to tell how Gary and Soda are working so hard to stay together, and are you going to let the young girl at school? The reporter even puts in the three of you shouldn't be separated. I've been working so hard to stay together. Separated? Well, happen. You now, of course, don't do stuff like that to heroes. <coughs> I'm seeing you checking on Johnny. Wanna come? It's a little early. I don't know about visiting hours. I can't wait for visiting hours. Pony boy, look who's close to it. I know. You want to look so in my car. No thanks, I want someone. You want something pony. Who is it? Randy Anderson. <coughs> Why should I talk to Randy? He's a soch. It's their fault, Bob said. It's their fault Johnny keeps in the hospital. It's their fault Soda and I might get put in a boy's home. I know that. Randy knows that. A few hours ago. Can I give you a lift? Maybe sometime? <laughs> Can we talk? You know the rules. No jazz before the rumble. I know the rules. Meet me at the car pretty quick. We gotta see Johnny. I read about you in the paper. How come? Maybe I just felt like playing hero. I wouldn't have done that. I let those kids burn the dead. Might not have. <laughs> Can't believe a greaser could pull something off like that. Greaser! Ain't got anything to do with it. Well, two of wouldn't have done it. Maybe you would. It's the individual. Maybe you're right. I'm not going to show up to Rumble tonight. I'm sick of all this. No matter what you say, Bob was a good guy. He had a problem, but he still was a real person. How could I know that? You couldn't have. Now he's dead. His mother had a total breakdown. Who's to blame? All I know is they stole him. They gave it to him all the time. We kept trying to make someone say no, and they never did. He said when they set limits, they have a law. The only person who ever told him no was Shay Valance. No wonder he's so crazy about her. Now I have to go to the hospital. That kid? Your buddy? He might die. He might. And people get hurt, Rumbles, too. Maybe even killed. It doesn't do any good. Even if you whip us, you'll be at the bottom and always be one for the lucky break. <coughs> Greasers will still be greasers and socials will still be socials. I've got to get out of this town. Running away won't help. And I'm hard chicken if I smoke out the rumble too. And I hate myself if I didn't. So what could I do? I mean, I'd help if I could. No, you wouldn't. I'm a soch. Good money in the whole world hates <coughs> No. You hate the whole world. I have to go. Thanks, Grease. I did that. Thanks, kid. My name's Pony Boy. Nice talking you, Randy. What does Mr. Super Soch have to say? He ain't a Soch. He's just a guy. And he just wanted to talk. Your friend's in critical condition. No visitor. Absolutely. It's my buddy in there. Hey, lady. Please. Might be good for him to see us. Yeah, let them go in, nurse. He's been asking for you. It can't hurt now. He's right over here. It can't hurt now? Hey, John Cake, John Cake! Oh, hey, John. I've got a riddle for you. What's the safest thing to be when you meet a gang of social outcasts in the alley? I don't know. A judo expert? No, another social outcast. The train you okay? We're having a big rumble tonight. Too bad you and Dallas are gonna be here. We're gonna get him out of our territory for good. You got your name in the paper for being a hero. Yeah, you. So, I figure Southern gentlemen ain't got nothing in Johnny Cave. That book that got burned, can you get another one? What book, Johnny? Uh, he wants a copy of Gone with the Wind so I can finish reading it to him. I'll go down to the drugstore and get it. John, downstairs. Don't you two go running away. Dallas is going to be all right. Me and Darian, we're okay now.
vagina. It just hurts sometimes. Usually don't. I can't feel anything below the middle of my back. Be bad off, me, my pony. You'll be okay. You gotta be. I'll never be able to walk again. You'll be all right. I'm telling you. I'm so scared. I used to talk about killing myself, but I don't want to die. It ain't been long enough. Sixteen years just ain't long enough. There's so much stuff I haven't done. So many places I ain't been. So many things I ain't seen. The time we were in the church in Wintersville, the only time I've ever been away from our neighborhood. We ain't gonna die. That's right, Johnny Cake. Dallas? Still here, Johnny. The pictures in the paper. Mine too. Some guys came by to rub it in about me missing the rumble tonight. Said when they saw my picture in the paper, they couldn't believe it and say, what a dead or alive. And that's a good one, Dallas. We're gonna win that fight tonight. We're gonna clean out our neighborhood good. Tommy, your mother's here to see you. She, I don't wanna see her. She is your mother. She's come to tell me about all the trouble I've caused her. Well, tell her to leave me alone. For once, just leave me alone. I was afraid of something like this. You'll have to go. Please, leave the doctor. You better play to Johnny Cake. The book? I'll give it to him. We're gonna stop him tonight, Johnny Cake. They brought book for you, Johnny. As long as the wind. We can read it together a little later. You're gonna have a piece of paper and a pencil. When I come back. I'm sorry, but I can't come in. It's my son. I'm supposed to see him. Please, not now. Well, yes. After all we've done to raise him. He wants to be with the hoodlum. The doctor will talk to you later. Thought I'd find you here. Hi, Cherry. Nice to see you. Pony boy, stay a minute. Sure. Things are going to be rough tonight. Randy's not going to shove the rumble. I know. He's not scared. He's just sick of fighting. Bob was his best friend since grade school. Johnny Cake ain't showing up either. Only I can't say he ain't scared. He's real scared. How bad is Johnny? Bad. You can't see him just now, but please. You go up sometime. No, I couldn't. Why not? <coughs> because he killed Bob. I know, Bob asked for it. He made it happen. But I could never look at the person who killed him. I don't get it. You only knew his bad side. It was that part of him that beat up Johnny. I knew it was Bob when he told me the story. He was so proud of those things. When he wasn't trying to destroy himself, he gave me something special. Something that marked him different. Last time I saw Bob, he was choking me. Think hard, Pony Boy. When was the last time you saw Bob? Last time I saw him, he was. Don't go to the Rumble tonight. They bring you blades? No, they pull your way. No weapons. Fair deal. Randy told me. He knows for sure. I already told Derry. I guess we're supposed to be grateful. I'm not looking for gratitude. I only want to help. I like you, Pony Boy. I like you from the start. Will you talk? Will you try to help me if you could? Sure. If I could. I have to testify at your hearing. Randy, too. Do you Bob's good name? You'll be there. You'll find out. You make a good friend, Pony Boy. Good friends are a little hard to find. I have to go. Sure. Hey. Can you see the sunset real good from your side of town? Real good. You can see him real good from our side, too. Thanks, pretty boy. You're okay. Never hurt 
Get a hold of the little one. If you get in the jam, holler. Promise. Didn't be that time. Is everyone happy? I'm a greaser, a JD in a hood. I blacken the name of our fair city. Get thee hence, white trash. I am a soch. I'm of the privileged and well dressed. I throw parties, drive fancy cars, and break windows at fancy parties. And what do we do for fun? We jump greasers! <laughs> Stop! 
someone like me who would have never been into this, if you were smart like me, you would have never went back in that church. God, this is what you get for helping people. What? a pony boy. Get like me, and you don't get hurt. Look out for yourself, and nothing can touch you. Hear me, pony boy? What's up?